James Holder, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm in Westcroft today on the undercard of Lenny Dawes with Antonio Yejit for the EBU title. Quite fortunate to be joined by O'Shane Clark. Firstly, good to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah, great, mate. I've had a good fight. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about the fight then. How did you find that? Oh, it was easy. I think it was easy, but my fitness needs to step up. Because I thought I had him in the second round with a nice body shot. His corner was about to throw the towel in. But they didn't. He was a tough lad. He came through and survived the four rounds. My fitness was better, I thought I would have had him. But it was a tough fight and he's a good, strong lad. Do you think you learn more at this stage, getting the rounds under your belt rather than, than blowing out these opponents? At yeah, definitely. I think I needed that, that good four rounds. In. But my fitness started to, started to dip towards the end of the fight. My legs started to get tired. Mm -hmm. But I caught him with some good shots, good body shots. Worked him, but he's a tough lad. And he toughed it out and got through it. Reading based. Another world weight coming from Reading. What what's the scene like in Reading? Do you feel you have to travel out to get to get that quality sparring? Oh yeah, Reading Reading's busy for, with fighters now. Everyone's coming through. So we've got good sparring in Reading amongst each other. Top sparring, but you have to travel out to get more sparring and adva ad advance yourself and be, become better. Just for your second fight, two and out, I said fighting the durable <coughs> opponent out of your sort of your comfort zone a little bit. So do you think that'll help you improve as a fighter? Definitely, definitely. He's a bit taller than me as well, so I had to think about head movement, getting in and under the punches, working the body. But it was a good, good learning curve, very good learning curve. Got me the four rounds distance, just learning, getting them better and improving. Now we've got another work weight from Reading, Tamuka Mucha. Have you spent any time with Tamuka? Do you know him? What's he like? I've known Tamuka all my life. He's like my, like my brother. He's like a very close friend. We started boxing pretty much at the same time. I just had some time off, I had distractions, but he stuck it out and he's doing his thing right now. He's chasing Bradley Skeet, I see. So hopefully he gets that fight. Do you reckon he can beat Skeet? Do you think he's got the tools to do it? Personally, I think he's got the tools. He's, his work rate is immense. He's one fit guy. Mm. I've seen him train and he's, he's a fucking beast, man. Mm. Do you see yourself sort of somewhere down the line getting in the mix? I know Tamuka's your friend, so I'm not including him in that statement. Yeah. Breaking into the, that top 10 of, of domestic of domestic. Oh, players. that's the goal. Everyone wants to be the best. And that's why I am to be the best, the best work weight in the country. And that's what I'm trying to do, just work my way up the ranks. Are you full-time dedicated to your craft now? Oh, full-time dedicated, yeah. Just trying to get the fights in and just work my way up the rankings. Okay. What, what's the plan going forward from here? When can we anticipate seeing you back in the ring? Back in the ring as soon as possible. I'm looking to be out within the next two weeks or so. So I'm looking to have as many fights as I can this year. Just work my way up, work my way up and fight for a sudden area title as soon as I can. Where would you do the bulk of your training at, Shay? Sorry? Where would you do the bulk of your training at? My training? In Camberley Boxing Club. Okay. Good gym? Great gym. It's one of the best. Like, sell it to me. Tell me about the training. It is a bloody bollocks, mate. <laughs> the gym, the facilities, quality. Got a massive ring. Good team, good lads there improving. So I've got to say, they're a good, good, good group down there. And they're supporting me 100%. And I'm very thankful for it. Got a great team around me. And we're aiming for the top. And we're coming for everyone in the World Weight Division. How many times do you think we can see you fight this year? It's quite early. This year? Now, so. I'm looking to have at least five. Five fights this year. Five more fights. Okay. Listen, yeah. Congratulations on becoming 2 and 0. Yeah. Thank you for giving up to me a bit of your time. Great to get you on your journey. Thank mate. you for coming to see me and thanks for the interview, mate. Much appreciated.